It's also quite a bit of a uh, screen freezing, it appears, and now it's gone dark. Okay, the game is apparently starting. We are off to Jengbi versus Zero. This should be epic match on Neo Aztec here, second set. Uh, so exciting stuff. Jengbi looks like is the Teal Protoss at the 12 o'clock position, and Zero, of course, is the uh, White Zerg at the 8 o'clock position. Neo Aztec three player match. Uh, Jengbi uh, playing very well. Uh, Zero uh, has been, uh, I don't know, he, I don't think he's been too shaken about his loss to Flash. It was almost like Destiny, but getting cleaned out. Oh, three. Never good for morale. He was hoping that zero, uh, at uh, which the pro, pro league playoffs here is fairly high stakes. Here, he's hoping that zero has managed to recompose himself sufficiently. It has been some time since the the finals there uh, to play at his uh, high level that he has demonstrated that he is capable of performing. And zero is by the way scouting the correct direction with his overlord. Uh, luck is on his side. Zero is actually playing pretty well recently. Uh, all of his stats are still uh, at least his normal, if not even a little bit higher. Uh, Jangbi, of course, completely on fire, completely blowing Zero out of the water in terms of uh, recent results, uh, just blasting through both prelims and straight into both Star Leagues. So Jangbi has a lot behind him. He, he lost yesterday to Solki, so we're going to see if he can uh, redeem himself a little bit today against Zero. Uh, again, we're going to see a pool first build from Zero. I think that's a not over over pool. Sorry. Over pool, um, oh, right? That's correct. All I think all the games yesterday there was a pool first pool first build. So it seems to be the standard against Zerg in these recent games. And then yesterday's matches, um, all Fungi saw Zerg use some cor some sort of cheesy build against Samsung Khan's um Protosses. I don't know if we are going to see any more um, like Hydra break or like uh, anything along la along la la line coming out from Unchun Stars Zergs. And Jambi is being really, uh, really annoying with his probe, attacking the Jones from the back of the mineral line, something that Bisu used to do a lot. And he's getting the Jones really low on health. He has gone on 15 health, and then zero pulls it. So Zero certainly needs to be a bit careful with his drones. Uh, he should probably morph a pair of Zerg wings sooner rather than later deal with his probe. Uh, this constant harassment, if uh, Jengbi can score first blood here, that would certainly uh, be an uh, early advantage to the Jengbi, uh, not just economically, but also certainly psychologically. And it looks like the Zerglings are out and should be able to chase the probe around and stop it. But no, the Zerglings are going to head out, it looks like. Um, not quite sure what Zero intends to do with that. He knows where Jangbi is. He knows the cannon is going up. Uh, so uh, maybe the Zergling is just out on the field to sort of hoping that Jangbi went for something like 12 next. But then why would you morph two Zerglings? So I'm a bit perplexed here by the play coming out from Zero. I think the purpose sure. of that is that um, he's forcing Jangbi to down cannons before Nexus because usually when Protoss players see the Zerg go for an uh, overpool they, they put on the Nexus first and then cannon but Jambi being very smart put on his cannons first and then put on his Nexus which makes um, zero, Zero's um, two Zergling pretty useless. And then I'm actually not sure if the Overlord got there in time to see um, where Jambi was in time before the Zerglings ran out. The, the Overlord got there I think right after the Zerglings went out which might explain why he went out about halfway and then turned back to try to get the probe. Yeah, and Zero is taking the um, natural expansion of the 7 o'clock. So I think this will be standard build coming out from Zero, but I'm not sure. Usually when Zero go for like a cheesy, uh, like a cheesy Hydra bust or something, they usually like to take basic that's closer to Portal, say, so their Hydra is go, um, the distance is closer. This is the same map of Jengbi versus Jadong, uh, so here's hoping that Jengbi can play at that level and Zero can perhaps rise to the occasion. Uh, should Jengbi uh, uh, recover from his loss yesterday, and now we see an ad sort of blocking away. Uh, that was uh, hilarious, yes, absolutely hilarious. Only Zella out from Jengbi, not quite able to do anything, though uh, pro probably just going to force a few more Zerglings to be morphed here from Zero. 
Um, Forge is spinning, plus one attack is coming out here, and Citadel going down. So on this map, Dark Templar strategies can be very effective in conjunction with good Corsair usage and a Dragoon out here. Uh, that is actually a tad unusual. Usually you see the Pro House player just uh, keep building Zealots and then maybe get a Dark Templar and then a uh, High Templar, but a Dragoon out this early, that's interesting. That is a pretty weird decision coming from Jangby. Um, the early plus one and the Dragoon might signify that he's going for some sort of timing attack uh, early in the game before any sort of big competition happens. Um, normally when Zergs take the natural for their third base, they intend to take the main of that natural for their fourth base and then just sort of turtle on those four bases. So we're going to have to see how good Zero SimCity is and whether Jangby tries to go for a timing attack to try to break him. Looks like um, Go ahead. Uh, looks like Jemmy is researching on his Cyber Knight score. I, s I assume it is a, a range upgrade for his Dragoon. That's why he's building um, building his uh, building a Dragoon from the gateway, and then he has no Stargate. So I'm I'm pretty sure this is a range upgrade from 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 Jumpy here, and he's looking forward to do maybe a 3k or 4k the um, mid game push with Dragoons. This could be really deadly if Zero didn't scout it out. I have noticed that Dragoon and Stargate now going down for Jengi. He is going to get his Corsairs a bit later. Two Stargates going down for Jengi. Okay, I am uh, truly confused here as to what Jengi is planning to do. Uh, it is not obvious that he is getting core upgrade anymore. The, the, uh, the range upgrade as his core, rather. He has produced four Zealots, so it may very well be plus one air attack. Jengi perhaps trying to fake Zero out a bit. Uh, I'm not sure whether Zero with the Zerglings that, you know, he's keeping outside of Jengvi's base has seen the core spinning like that. Uh, if he sees, like, the Dragoon and the core spinning, maybe Zero's gonna think, and two more Dragoons are out. Okay, Jengvi is going for a strategy that I've never seen before. Here's hoping that it proves to be genius, as a po and, and it looks like Zero is busy working all sorts of sunkins at his natural defense. Uh, Jengvi has brought out the Dragoon, and I was just gonna say earlier that I have noticed Dragoons aren't able to outrange the hatchery in these SimCity builds, usually. And if Jengbi could pick off the hatchery with just a few Dragoons, that would be a nice little early advantage for him. I'm not sure if I've seen a Spire or a Hydroden uh, for Zero, so he doesn't really have anything other than Zerglings right now to defend this. Just his Sunkins and a few Zerglings over the map trying to pick off reinforcements, but the Dragoons are now picking at the hatchery. And once the hatchery goes down, there's nothing protecting those Sunkins anymore, and the Zealots will be able to run in and take them down pretty quickly. Uh, at the same time, the Corsairs are going to be coming out, and while Zero is trying to focus on getting units out, he, he might not be paying attention to his Overlords. If he loses a couple Overlords, then the DT follow-up might be able to kill Zero dead. And actually, Muta's coming out now. Yeah, usually when um, Zerg player faces against this, they win for either Mulesk or win for Lurkers. But um, at, at this point, I think um, um, Mulesk is a wiser choice, but Jambi's it's being very smart, predicted that uh, Zero will kill for Mulas. He already has two Stargate pumping a lot of Corsairs. This Corsair, the Mulas transition will be very, very bad for um, Zero. I think he knows uh, Zero is going for Mulas because there's no Hydra Dance coming out from um, Zero. He cancelled it when he saw the Jagunsa moving out. Well, here we see Amila is coming in to take out these Dragoons. Where are the Corsairs of Jengbi? Jengbi going to lose all his Dragoons in zero, but going to actually be able to save that hatchery, noticing that the Dragoons did outrange the uh, hatchery, uh, the Sunkins, and were picking at that SimCity hatchery. A uh, very clever maneuver in general by Jengbi. Jengbi with Dark Templar out, but I don't think he's going to accomplish too much. These Amila chasing down the fleeing Zealots, able to polish off a few of them. Always good to inflict casualties when a uh, uh, treat is in progress, a retreat rather, is in progress, zero, focusing hard there. Uh, so I was going to say that the build here coming from Jengvi is actually kind of clever. He's using the Zealots to screen his Zerg, uh, to screen his, his Dragoons and stopping the Zerglings from attacking his Dragoons. That's pretty clever. And using just three Dragoons able to uh, kill a Hatchery uh, and potentially two if he had uh, brought his Corsairs down with him, which would have been a nice, nice, uh, a way to disrupt the Zerg clans. As it stands, Jang B with two Dark Templar marauding around the map. He does have a, a lot of Corsairs now, it looks like. Uh, probably at least six, possibly more. Zero will need to clone his Scourge very well to overcome this. Lots of Sunkins and a Spore at both uh, Naturals is going to pretty much deflect these D 
DTs, and my stream is gone. Are you guys stream gone? Yep. Yeah, I'm actually wondering if the if the dragoon sniping the hatcheries was was really the only reason for that attack. Uh, maybe he never intended to actually push in and just pick up a couple hatcheries and then pull back. Uh, still a couple DTs on the map. A lot of scourge with the mutas now, and there's a shuttle. I'm not sure it's on the shuttle right now for Jangbi, uh, heading towards the Almost bottom DTs, right corner of the map. I think. Yeah, it's going to be a um, DT job um, with the protection of Corsairs. I think this job, if Zero doesn't have any defensive in a four space, he'll be in a, in a huge trouble. Looks like he doesn't have anything in his four space. This job could be able, could do a lot of damage. And um, Jambi is taking his third base at the uh, inside uh, 12 o'clock, and he will be able to. Uh, and looks like a DT job has come in, and um, Zero doesn't know about it yet. The Chris is flying away. Oh, but Zero, Zero. Um, very nice um, reaction coming on from Zero. He pulls all his drones away. Well, my stream is still frozen. It uh, looks like Zero is going for the counterattack uh, with his air force, and Jengbi is pulling his corsairs back. Ooh. There's a simultaneous DT drop in the main. Jengbi playing like a madman here. Uh, the Zero not seemingly able to cope, but Jengbi making a big mistake by looking his high footlord to the front. Doesn't uh, matter. After Templar is up being like 14 kills, or some ridiculous number, 13 kills, wiping out all the drones at Zero's main base, and Zero is in desperate trouble here. He's probably lost the hatchery at the uh, 4 o'clock base, but no, at the same time, Zero has a rally his hydras to launch a massive attacking front, his realists have caused all sorts of havoc in the back. He's carried out the probe from the natural expansion of Jengbi Zealots, fighting desperately against Hydralis here. So many hundreds coming out from Zero, and I cannot tell who has the advantage at this point. There are a lot of Hydras out, out right outside of his base right now. L the last game that they lost Silky was partially because he delayed his storm. I'm not sure if Jengbi actually has storm yet. He has several Thai Templars out, but. Uh, we haven't seen any storms yet, obviously. Storms right now could absolutely demolish these Hydras. All of his zealots go down. There's a storm right now, pretty good. Uh, another storm on the Hydras. A lot of Hydras going down, but there's still a lot left. There's no cannons left and almost no zealots. There's an Archon morphing, but really there's no army to defend this third base. Looks like this third base for Chambi is going to go down here. And, um... Some people are saying the stream is horrible it's behind again. Stream is freezing quite often, I have to say. That is a true statement, at least for me. Jengbi counterattacking with his Corsairs, but his Zealots just completely outnumbered by the Hydralists, doing their best, uh, fighting hard, but I don't think he's... But while maybe he could hold these Hydralists off, Zero has uh, micro this Hydralists uh, fairly well. So, I don't know who has inflicted more damage. I'm tempted to say Zero, because Zero can always rebuild his drones if necessary, whereas Jengbi is forced back into his bases, and Zero with so many Hydras making a massive, massive attack here. I don't think Jengbi will be able to hope now. He's forced to pro probe, and this almost certainly will be GG for Jengbi. Yeah, Jengbi is definitely trying to pull back with, uh, with um, probes and uh, Jaguars right now, but he needs storms. And and he's flying his shuttle there. I don't know what's in the shuttle. Oh, maybe oh, just some probe bomb. <laughs> I'm not sure what's in the shuttle. Looks like Jambi um Zero will be able to push in a natural expansion here and maybe take the game. Yeah, it's a couple minutes later, but this looks oddly familiar to the game yesterday. Um, again, Jangbi Storm just seemed to be a few seconds too late. All of his elves were dead by the time his storm came out. So. Uh, all the zealots dying before the storm comes out doesn't really help you because obviously you're not going to be able to kill every hydra with the storms. So the hydras that were left were just able to clean up the third base and Jambi just didn't have anything behind that. And GG coming up on Jambi here. Oh, baby. oh my god, you see that? Zero starts killing his own hydras. Uh, team seems to be a bit, well, 